Welcome, friends, to Beer and Board Games. And if you're a fan of the 19... Hey, Bangy. Sorry. <laughs> Hello, friends. Welcome to Beer and Board Games. If you're a fan of the 1980s and tabloid journalism, you're just going to love the National Enquirer game. Anyone who grew up in the 80s will probably still have forgotten many of these references, but we're going to play this game anyway. I think Tallboy should go to the refrigerator and fetch us some beer because we're going to need it. What is this? Tonight we're drinking Pilot Mountain Pale Ale from the Foothills Brewing Company. Interesting color there. Orange color. Tangerine. Oh. It's orange, but there's, it's sweeter than orange. There is. Tangerine. Thoughts? I like it. Good. Mine's still what I expected from you. <laughs> My favorite part about the box is that m almost everyone pictured on it is dead. <laughs> I think there are more detailed rules that are supposed to go with this, but they are not in this box. It says the editor deals photos from the 250 picture photo file. Word tiles are dumped in the middle. Players scramble and scrounge to grab words and phrases to compose headlines for the photos. Play accelerates as more photos are distributed. Oh. All right, I'll start out as the editor. Editor Sloan, Editor Sloan. Yes. I'm looking for a, a... Post time, it's post time. Yeah, I gotta do a, I wanna do a, an, an article for the paper. All right, well I've got some juicy uh, tidbits for you. Okay. To do articles on, all three of you. Oh. If you don't do it right, you're gonna get fired. That, that, and that. What do we do? You construct a sentence out of your words. Just one word. We just take one word right now? No, uh, you make a headline. You're making headlines. Okay, okay got it. I'm passing yeah. out another picture. I need a third picture before I can finish this one. Okay, I'll give everyone a third. You've got a picture of an Asian lady, yep. middle-aged Chinese man, and a car accident. What's your headline? Naked Oriental drops dead. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, oh, 80s. Pope John Paul gives birth to beautiful genius pygmy. Now, what, how does it, what does that have to do with your so, picture? So, this is John Paul. There. That, at least that is today. <laughs> this is the device it took to make him give birth. And then this is the entire pygmy tribe. Okay, what do you got? Sinister bank robber swallows heart sick toddler. I don't know, and I'm not seeing it. I'm going to have to go with naked or Oriental drops dead. Yeah, what do I get for points? Absolutely nothing. Oh. All right, so now you get to be the editor. All right, guys, tonight we need something hot. We need something that's fresh. We need something that's going to draw in readership. You got me? Ready, chief. All right, let's do it. Boom. Real life. That's what kind of shot that's about. Now make me a headline and make it work. Little baby birdie. Here you go. What else you want me to do for you? Huh? Huh? Come on. Is there like a with? Or we don't do prepositions in this paper. We do headlines. Let's go. What kind of paper you running here? <laughs> this must be pretty funny, Matt. <laughs> Matt's loving his <laughs> own joke right now. I'm, I'm Matt done. Love I am his done. Joke that much. My headline is Jock <clears throat> reincarnated as lovable hairy wimp. Nice. <laughs> here we have the Jock. He's reincarnated <laughs> as this monkey, and somehow the shark is involved. And the shark <laughs> fucking ate him. Shocking. <laughs> There's an implied story there. That old man fucked a raccoon and that's what came out. Flabby baby unleashes young cleavage, surprising John, Pope John Paul. The uh, dog looking up the shorts right there? Yeah. Definitely more interesting than your horse shit. What? This right there. That's the winner right there. Hey, now it's my turn to pressure you guys. That's right. Deadlines. Deadlines. Oh, nuns. Anybody see nuns? I mean, if I can't find the nuns thing, nothing makes sense. <laughs> I found it, I found it. You found none? I did. All right, look, boss, here's the deal. I decided to get personal with this story. My wife has unleashed a teensy-weensy, psychotic, sexy, killer politician. Saddam Hussein swoons over massive, mysterious treasures, but then worships weirdo. That's pretty good. It's, it's going to be it's, hard to it's, top it's a, it's a busy day for Saddam Hussein. I have a picture of the Pope again. But he's actually a dairy farmer who just dresses up like the Pope for Halloween. <laughs> dairy farmer fed up, calls none, digs dumpy man. Dig I'm going to have to go with the Saddam Hussein uh, headline. Yes! It's clearly <laughs> going to sell more papers. Do you want to wrap it up with just like, let's get rid of these, let's not do any pictures, let's just try to come up with a funny headline, all yes. four of us at the same time? Yes. Yeah. Sleazy fat cat ravages huge super cat. Boozing Sasquatch knifes abominable snowman for money. Man-eating Saddam Hussein caught with choir boy. Surprising. <laughs> <laughs> I have 15 feet tall King Kong breaks midget politician. That Just politician. breaks him. He's only 15 feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> that was the National Enquirer game, and now something else. 
Well, now it's time for us to learn a little something, and so we're going to be playing Comprehension Games Kit, getting the main idea. This is a game that's going to teach us to do things. That's right. We are all students of life, and right now we're going to travel around the world and learn the, the main idea. The game comes with a game board full of cities. The way that you win is by traveling all around the world and by uh, knowing what the main idea is. This game has been written on a fourth grade readability level. Whew. It has been used successfully in all grade levels through adult basic education as well as in special education programs, which is the one that we are currently That in. is what we need. You must read the paragraph on the card, choose the sentence on the bottom that best states the main idea of the paragraph. Along the board you will find direction boxes. They may direct you to a specific city or have you gain or lose a turn. Sound good? Sounds good. How, how do we decide whether we're right or wrong? Oh, the answer key. There's oh, the, the answer, answer key, key right at the here. bottom of the... No, it's right here. Three, four, five, six. You're in St. Louis. Louis. Oh no, I'm in East St. Louis. I shouldn't be here. What happens in East St. Louis, Matt? I don't know, but whatever it is, it stays in East St. Louis. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I want to land on a blue space. This game is really fucking good so far. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ha ha! Nothing. Did you know that there are two kinds of pandas? Both types of pandas live in the high mountain forests of Asia. The better known of the two is the giant panda. The giant panda has a white coat with black legs and ears. The smaller panda looks like a cat and weighs about 10 pounds. So the main idea is that there's two types of pandas. My answer is A. There are two different kinds of pandas. You knew that, right? Give me a <laughs> fucking break. Ooh, he's in New Orleans. You get to go again if you get this right. You get to go in an alley and get a blowjob. For beads. People used to think that golf was a sport for older people. Today that is no longer true. <laughs> People used to think that golf shouldn't be played by the president so much. <laughs> then, a president who did nothing but play golf. Someone photoshopped a picture of him looking like he pooped his pants on the golf course. So that was photoshopped? I don't know. It probably was. I hope yeah, so. It probably was. I really hope so. <laughs> Mr. President, what's wrong? I think I made a bogey in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a, it's a double bogey, definitely. <laughs> Fuck golf. You guys, this is fun. We're traveling the world. I'm having a good time. I'm really... This is a fucking journey. ...learning that the main idea is that we life We should pick is... a better game. George was glad he entered the bike race. His bike was all clean. All clean? God, I already hate George. He even polished the fenders and the handlebars. The tires were filled with the correct amount of air. They were all filled. I made that part up. George felt sure he would beat the other 24 riders. George was doping. He was taking performance enhancing <laughs> drugs and he had that his friend testing. Lance had given him. <laughs> and he won. The main idea, A, George wins the race. B, George loses the race. C, George enters a race. The answer is C. It seems like you got the main idea, Matt. Scott went for a helicopter ride in New York City. It was very exciting to sit in the helicopter and see the tall building so close. Scott thought the most exciting thing about the ride was how the helicopter <laughs> lifted straight off the ground for takeoff. The main idea, see, it's way more fun this way because yeah. you can't comprehend shit that fast anyways, okay? The main idea is Scott had an exciting ride. Helicopter rides are very expensive. He got helicopter shot down rides by... are dangerous. Yeah. Uh, Scott had quickly. an exciting ride, A. The answer was A, you oh, are boom. correct. Congratulations, you graduated fourth grade. I get a turn. The dragon is a make-believe animal. <gasps> there are many different kinds of dragons to be found in books. Usually dragons have wings. They're called names such as Drogon and Dracarys. <laughs> Small blonde women are known to say, I want my dragons! <laughs> dragons were able to breathe fire on their enemies like the Lannister army. Holy and then the Dothraki came and cleaned up after them. Holy fuck, this game predicted Game of Thrones. <laughs> Dragons were almost always seen as bad animals. <laughs> you again. get to go again. Nice. The grapefruit gets its name because a fruit grows in clubs like grapes. Years ago, people grew grapefruit trees for decoration only. Now the grapefruit is a popular fruit because it contains vitamins, and it's good for us. It can be served as juice or eaten raw. <laughs> I have no idea what you just said. Istanbul. Istanbul. Welcome to Istanbul. It used to be called Constantinople. <laughs> Lizards can be as little as two to three inches long, and a large lizard 12 feet long. Listen. <laughs> Chicago is a fun place to visit. There's a whole lot of raping that goes on. 
in Chicago. A whole lot of reaping going on. <laughs> so I went to Chicago, a whole lot of reaping going on. Yeah, I ain't faking. Whole lot of reaping going on. If you are not yet a patriot, um, <laughs> if you are not yet a patron of our Patreon page, if you want to see old live shows, because we're starting to release all the old episodes on to Patreon for our patrons. Links in the description. Check it out. It's pretty fun. And there's so many other rewards. You'll never regret it. I want to roll two dice to move now. Oh, yeah, good idea. Yeah. The largest animal in the world is the elephant. Elephants really do not have any enemies except man. Elephants are usually full animals. <laughs> Now, can you predict what the main idea is? <laughs> I, I have just that much information. I, I'm gonna go with B. The elephant is the largest animal. Oh, I think he got it right. Oh my god, it's B. <laughs> I only read a quarter of it and he got it right. All right, well you get to go to Paris and you are now winning by a lot. Today, candy can be bought by anyone in a number of places. In old Egypt, candy was made only for the most important people in the kingdom. Today, there are hundreds of candy brands to sample. You can go to King Candy's Candy Dungeon and sample his candy, but he might not let you leave. I know firsthand. B. Candy's easier to get today. Answer Correct. Today. Whoa, I rolled a 12. 12. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Caught a cold, lose a turn if you don't get this right. Look off. Chocolate is a popular food. King Candy likes chocolate too, so you're not going to escape that way, little hey. one. <laughs> today we think of it mainly as a candy. So do I. I'm seeing you! I don't know what's on the card and what's not anymore. Man, I did. Making chocolate is a long process. Beef, chocolate is high in vitamin C, chocolate has a few uses. Something about King Candy, I think, is the main idea. Switzerland is a very small country. There yep. are many beautiful sights in this land. The most outstanding feature of the country is the titties. The, the yep. titties. About two thirds of the land is covered by titties. Switzerland is known to us for its watches, winter sports, and delicious, delicious titties. The main idea is to describe Switzerland, to compare Switzerland to other countries, or to list all tits products. There you go. All right, you're home. Yay! He won the game. Good job. Does he have to answer a question? He just I wins. I took a direct flight. Suck it. I'm so happy that he won the game that... It's time for some treats. Oh, we haven't had treats yet? Trytreats.com. As per their custom, they send us a box of treats. Looks like our treats were from... Thailand! Triple M Sticks. I want a Triple M Sticks. The original Triple M Sticks. And you, you eat some Hanami prawn crackers. I think I'm good. These can get shipped back. <laughs> this is a roll of dry fucking <laughs> seaweed. What the shit is that? Prawn crackers aren't great. Do you guys want something small to eat or big? He um, likes big things in his mouth. Okay, big. you like some big fruit. Big fruit's really disappointing right now. That's not big. That is not big. Oh, this bento seafood snack smells horrible. How about big bacon? Plus 10. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. Oh, oh yeah, look at that's bacon. That's, that's seaweed. No, no, that's exactly. bacon. That's not seaweed. That's, that's the same thing he just had. Bacon. Up. This is horrible. Take this and give it to a cat. <laughs> <laughs> a cat that you hate. Ready, seaweed bros? Cheers. All of it. All of it. All Ready? Of it. One, two, three, go. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh. mm. 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 Oh, that's pretty good. Folks, we had a good time tonight. I learned that reading comprehension is stupid, and I'm never going to do it again. Also, you have seaweed on your shoulder. <laughs> we hope that you'll join us next time. It's going to be a lot of fun, and there'll be no reading comprehension. No. Good night. A ding, ding, ding. Da 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 da